let's take a look at ringside exclusive defining moments mankind Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the ringside exclusive Defining Moments Mankind. So this is Defining Moments line. It, it, it zeroes in on a specific time and place. Very special to a, a professional wrestler. And this one is focusing on Mankind. Now Mankind in 1998 had one of the greatest matches of all time against The Undertaker steel cage match at 1998 hell in the cell we all remember it and if you don't remember it all i gotta do is mention this mankind got choke slammed from the top of the steel cage through and down to the mat so that's 20 feet down and this was crazy the things that mankind put his body through i should say mick foley put his body through is just amazing. I mean, this guy, he he is tougher than Tarzan's feet. He has to be. Who else would do anything like that? But just a heck of a performer, one of the all-time greats. Let's take a look at the packaging. So right there, going through the plastic, you see Mankind. You see he's got his tattered sleeves and his his white shirt with his tie he has looking very close you can see he's his tooth came through his lip if you remember that i remember it so on that the head sculpt that's on the body that the front tooth popped through his lip it was sticking through his lip and then he has an alternate head head sculpt that has a uh, his straps around his face he's got extra hands looks like if you want this action figure you have to go to ringside collectibles a great um website to buy wrestling action figures that's it they do carry a lot of action figures but they have mattel and a few of the other uh toy manufacturers will make uh, exclusives for your walmarts your targets your Amazon and ringside collectibles so that's where you get this um, if you're interested this is the defining moments line like I mentioned before there you got a good picture of mankind this side you got a good picture of mankind got the WWE logo and then you got the old grapplers down here top it has that window so for uh, anybody that wants to take like pictures of the package could maybe take a flashlight and shine it through there through the top and you'll get your figure lit up uh, the back has some writing there if you want to pause your tv or your phone you might want to read that mine right here does have a little tear in it not a deal breaker but it does have a little tear right there next to the Mattel sign. Perhaps no match in WWE history is more fabled than the Mankind vs. Undertaker inside Hell in a Cell at 1998's King of the Ring. Rather than enter the cell, Mankind scaled to the top and waited for the, his dark rival. The dead man made, met his sadistic opponent on the structure's roof and in a matter of moments threw him from the top, crashing into the announcer's table below. As God is my witness, he is broken in half, announcer Jim Ross shouted in panic and disbelief. If that wasn't enough, mankind returned to the cell, scaled back to the top, and was slammed through the roof, crashing hard down into the ring. It took a tombstone into a pile of thumbtacks to finally end the match. And cement Mrs. Foley's baby boy is a hardcore icon. That's what happened. So I'm excited to get him out of here, so... Let's try to get this cut open and we'll see what's going on. We will open the side that has the little tear in it. That way I can display my figure. If 
I set it up sideways, we can hide that. All right. Do I have everything open? Now we're going to try to get our knife in here. I like to pry up right here. As we know, I keep all my packaging. Fold that down a bit. Might have to get in here at the bottom and wiggle that free. I don't see any tape on there, but man, I don't want to come up. Oh, there it came. We got her. We got her. And there's that. And I don't think there's anything in this. No, there's nothing in there. So if you want, you can slide this whole thing out. Look at that. How awesome is that? He got his autograph right there. But that looks good. I like that. Have a, have a nice day. <laughs> what a character mankind was. We'll set that to the side. Put our knife away. Set that to the side. There he is in his plastic case. As you can see, he's got his hands and his alternate head sculpt. So he's got a splayed out hand and a gripping hand out of the box. And then this one, opposite gripping hand, splayed out hand. Let's get him cut out. How hard is this going to be? Got that one. Sometimes they make these tough. Ugh, I think I got it. Is that it? Nothing around the ankles, nothing around the knees, nothing around the head. This looks great. This absolutely looks great. There's one hand and there's two hands. And our alternate head. Come on out of there. There we go. Got it out. And let's try to get mankind out. Any other? Nope, I didn't miss anything. So there's your empty plastic. So get these ties out of the way. Not very many ties, just tied down at the wrist. Not too bad. Set that to the side. So he's got a right hand that's gripping, and you have a left hand gripping. You have on the figure a, a left hand splayed out, and then you get a right hand splayed out. If you want to go opposite hands let's take a look at Mick Foley okay so here he is looks like he's holding his ribs there and look on the back there's all the tacks the tacks are all over his back where he got tombstoned at the end of the match and look at the head look at the look at the lip you see the tooth poking through the lip <laughs> I love it they did a good job with this jacket or this shirt as you can see it's kind of it's not sculpted on but the shoulders are painted white right here to act as part of the shirt and it looks pretty good and actually the shirt sleeves are sculpted on so the torso part is the only part that's not the hair looks great it's in his eyes man bloody lip i don't know it's wwe mattel they usually don't show blood but i want to say that's like his lip is bloody it could just be red lips but i would say his lip is bloody and look at that still smiling after all the crap he went through still smiling take a look at articulation he looks up very very slightly he can look down pretty good shoulders up butterfly out pretty good double jointed pinless elbows and man out of the out of the box they are nice they're really nice oh his right elbow kind of stiff oh no there we go a lot of, lot of posability out of this guy. We got an upper arm cut. Well, shoulders go all the way around. Upper arm cut. Uh, like I mentioned, the double joint pinless elbows. The wrists can come down. A lot of movability in them wrists. Not side to side. 
wrists do go all the way around. Of course, the hands are going to be removable, so you can put your other hands on there. Does it have, it feels like there's an ab crunch, but it's hard to tell. He's got that shirt on there, so can't really tell. But waist go all the way around. And he, no drop down hips, I don't believe. Nope. Upper thigh cut. Let's see, can he do the splits? He does pretty good splits. Can he do the straddles? Uh, he get that front one up pretty good, but that back one don't come up. Um... Double jointed pinned knees. Pin knees. They're really nice out of the box. Uh, upper boot cut all the way around. Ankle on a rocker. No. And these awful, awful ankles. Oh, I hate that. That just looks. See how bad that's separated? Ugh. They've got to fix that. I don't know if anybody from Mattel is listening, but look at that. That is awful awful i swear it looks like he's got a prosthetic foot there's got to be a way to get rid of that but anyways let's see if he can pirouette sir can mankind can pirouette and he's good at it he is good at it so all around i actually really like this action figure man it's good does this beat uh, the Iron Sheik? No. No. It's going to be hard to top the Iron Sheik for me. This is, I would put this probably ahead of Jimmy Hart, Legend Series 21 that I've opened up. But I would not put this above the Iron Sheik or the Hulk Hogan from Legend Series 21. Those were just terrific. But uh, yeah, the alternate head here, if you want to take a look at that, that is pretty awesome see how easy the head does pop off oh i love it when it gives you that sound new head back on there you go look at that what a creep man that's that is wild yeah so that is blood because look on this mouth no blood yet this is when he's coming out of the backstage to get ready to fight he went right up that steel cage all the way top got chucked off through the announcer table climbed back up got choke slam through the top of the steel cage all the way down and then how does how does this guy do this i mean he's not a he never was like a physically fit guy i know he was phys i know he was absolutely had to be physically fit but i mean he was just a bigger guy he wasn't like a cody rhodes or randy orton or one of these guys that's just absolutely ripped and i mean this guy was looked like a regular guy just getting slung around and things he put his body through was amazing and he made a lot of money he made a lot of money in the wrestling industry and he's still involved in it so he's got a great attitude he's a a number one author so he wrote wrote some books but mick foley mankind 1998 hell in the cell absolutely great figure i like it a lot but anyways until next time oh yeah